So when I was looking for a chair to buy, um, I was on a budget and I didn't really have a whole lot of options because where I live there's, there's no really place to buy a chair. So I had to order online and this one, these two, I ordered online. This is my dad's chair that we bought in Jamaica. Um, and this chair was also bought in Jamaica. I'm gonna compare all of them. Really, this is supposed to be a video review of this chair. This is the Amazon Basics mid-back chair. Um, but when I was looking for information and videos, I didn't find, not only did I not find any real videos about it, or a, a good reviews. Um, one of the problems I was having is that a lot of the reviewers were so much bigger than me. Um, it's hard to tell someone's size when you're watching a video because there isn't a lot of, there's just not a lot of uh, comparisons in a video done in your bedroom. So. I would be watching a B Todd video and they'd be talking about chairs and then I'd find out that the guy testing the chair and saying that they're too small or too short or anything is 6'1 and like 200 and something pounds. Now as somebody who is 5'4 on a good day wearing shoes and 140 pounds soaking wet, don't, we are in two completely different categories. So. I want to talk about these chairs, I want to talk about the price, and I want to say if I'm, if they're worth it or not. So I start. This chair, I got at Courts, it's a furniture stall over the Caribbean. It was $7,000 when I got it. I bought this chair because I borrowed a desk from my uncle and it was very, very short. So I needed a chair with no arms that can go very, very low. This chair fit the bill. Uh, it's not a very comfortable chair, to be honest. Very squeaky. So if you watched any of my art videos and you hear it this squeak, that is, that is this chair. Uh, there is one thing that has made this chair so much more comfortable. And that's a seat cushion. I paid $15 online for this, but of course by the time it reached, it was about 5,000 Jamaican dollars. This is better, but here's the problem. I'm still 5'4", and tables and chairs were not made for people who are 5'4". So when I'm writing in this chair, my arms are like this on the table, even at the highest setting. So this chair was good for a low desk not good for your average 28 29 height desk that's folding tables computer desks they're all about that range they're too high for me so this chair i don't really use it that much uh, anymore so i'm gonna move this one out of the way so now for these chairs this is my dad's chair we paid over $30,000 for it. He kind of loves this chair. He is five, five and a half. Oh. And about 150, 155 pounds. I'm hoping you're hearing me. Please say you're hearing me. Anyway, we're moving on. This chair is a nice chair. We got it for his first birthday. But it's not a good chair for me. But it is a good chair for Ellie because she can reach me. In the way. So the armrests are at a good height, but it's just so wide that my arms are still like flapping about. Also, because of how high the arms are, I can't get close enough to the table to write comfortably. I have to lower the chair, but then I have the problem with my arms being up like this again. So I, I don't like this chair. My dad loves this chair. He says it's very comfortable. He has fallen asleep in this chair so many times. 
So this isn't a bad chair. You can find it online. I'm not even going to bother link it because it's a generic chair that goes under a lot of names. But it's okay. It's not bad. It's just not for me. Well, I keep rem reminding people. Five four. So then we go over to this chair. I'm leaving this chair for last, for reasons. Now this chair, I picked specifically for a few reasons. The first is that there's no rocking feature. Now, anybody who knows me knows that I don't like the rocking feature in chairs. I find it makes them very unstable, so I did not want that. The other thing I didn't want is for the back to be too straight. This is a gaming chair, unfortunately. I I hate red chairs, but I could not afford to buy the plain black. That was an extra $30, so I just had to deal with this, this red. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, so there's this setting where you can lie down, and then this part comes out, and I can put my feet up and watch movies like this. I really like this chair. My dad doesn't like this chair though, and my brother doesn't like this chair for the reasons that my brother is 5'9 and uh, over 230 pounds. So while you see me sitting here and these parts aren't getting in my way, the armrests are about. The armrests are about where I need them to be. He finds this chair is just too narrow. So again, this is why I don't like a lot of chair reviewers, because they don't give their height and weight. Yeah. This chair, the other reason why I bought this chair though, is because the seat is very flat, and I knew I needed a little extra height, so I was going to put a seat cushion. I know a lot of people say that you shouldn't use seat cushions for ergonomic chairs because it just affects the ergonomics, but here's the thing, when you're short you need the extra height in order to get the proper angles and now my feet still don't really reach the floor but at least my shoulders aren't too bad with that chair because my shoulders were like this all the time i started getting shoulder pain but you want your arms to be at like a 90 degree angle this is just ever so slightly too short for most tables just a little bit like if it was two centimeters taller it would have been the perfect chair but unfortunately Chairs are made for tall people. I actually had a friend over and she is much taller than me. Uh, she's like, what, 5'8? Well, there's only 4 inches. But she's taller than me. And she had to lower the chair to get it at the right height. But I'm 5'4 and more people are around the 5'4. Like, you can always lower a chair, but getting a chair that goes high enough is really hard. So, when I was going to buy the next chair, because I'm a writer, I sit in chairs a lot. When I was going to buy, I took a me ruler, a, a tape measure, because my brother has a chair and didn't bother to bring it in because it's much too big for me. But I took a measuring tape and I measured everything. And I decided to buy this chair. This is the Amazon Basics mid-back chair. And... I have some complaints and some things that I like. The first thing that I like is that it's kind of obvious just next to this chair that this seat goes a lot higher, which means I can actually reach the table properly. <laughs> so that is, that is good. You can see I can reach the table properly. The armrests are a bit low, but it's not, it doesn't bother me too much. Here's the problem though, see the back here, there is no support in the back. The seat itself isn't very comfortable either, but it's something I can deal with, I just use a seat cushion. But finally, this chair gets me to the height I want. The problem is that I find the back a bit too straight and I, the rocking feature is kind of bad really bad. I don't really use a rocking feature like I said, but th this, wh what is this? What? This is as far back as it can go. What am I supposed to do with this? This is not a rocking feature. Uh, but here's your other problem as well. This chair 
is very shallow in depth. This. Now, I don't like headrests, so even on that chair, I take off the headrest because I am short, and by short, I mean average height. So the headrest always hits at the back of my head. It's never on my neck, so it's always, always so uncomfortable. So I like the fact that this is a mid-back chair. I intentionally bought a mid-back chair, but it's very shallow, which means I can't put anything behind my back to give me the extra support. Versus like this chair, which is a lot deeper. It's, you can't, I'm not sure if you can tell, but this chair is a lot deeper and the other chair is a lot deeper. So this is actually more comfortable. You could pack pillows and stuff behind you. Because this one also doesn't have a huge amount of lower back support, but yeah. Um, the other problem, when I was looking up uh, reviews, a lot of people didn't know that this, the parts were in the back here, which I find... I find very stupid. There's this, as soon as you open the box. Unzip back cushion to find parts needed. There's this in the bag with the conti with, with the chair. It says, parts inside, please unzip back cushion. There's this that was taped onto the chair. It says, parts inside, please unzip the back cushion. On the manual, t the instructions, it said, the parts are in the back, please unzip it. And yet on the reviews, so many people could not find the parts. I don't get it. This is not Amazon's fault. This is definitely the fault of the person who bought it. So if you see any of those reviews, ignore them. They're wrong. Completely. Objectively speaking, they are wrong. But yeah. So do I recommend this chair? Maybe if you had a kid or you got it on some serious sale. But here's the problem again. This chair, I've seen this chair on Walmart and Office Depot and Ikea one almost exactly like this for going for sometimes less than this i buy this chair over this price wise though i paid about 100 us for this well this was closer to about 250 so yeah i couldn't afford a more expensive chair so that's also something to take into the consideration but do i recommend this chair after all of this the conclusion the answer is probably not so, yeah, especially if you're not bigger than me. Again, I am 5'4", 140 pounds. I am not big. If I was any bigger, this width would be too narrow. So just bear that in mind. If you are well endowed, if you have, if you have a big butt, this is not gonna fit you. Just see. If you have long legs, this is gonna be very uncomfortable. My mother and I are probably the only ones who can use this in the house. My father and brother thinks it's very uncomfortable because of how shallow it is. So yeah, that's a, that's a conclusion. If you have a kid, probably. Other than that, I'd say spend your money on something else. Uh, the red one over there, I actually really like. I just hate the red color. Um, by the way, I haven't seen a lot of reviews on the different seat cushions, so... Expect a review on these two. Subscribe if you want to see them. I am a writer and an artist. I'll leave links to my books in the comments. And... No, not the comments. The description. And... I'm still on the hunt for a perfect chair. That doesn't make me want to cry when I press order. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Later.